What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Nintendo and hate it or love it. Nintendo is always going to be Nintendo until the world changes and you know there's ice in hell. Nintendo will be that company that decides that I don't care what my competition is doing. I don't care what everybody's saying. We have a vision for what we want our game consoles to be. We have a vision for what we want our company to be. We have a particular demographic that we want to kind of aim at and we're going to do our thing. And so, hate it or love it, that's just Nintendo. It never surprises me now that Nintendo is going to do the opposite of what their competitors do because that's just what Nintendo does. And now there's more information and it is in the rumor mill section. So. Please take this with a grain of salt, but I'm thinking that there's probably a little bit of truth in this. I'll drop a link in the description. Rumor, Nintendo NX won't use x86 architecture comparable in power to the Xbox One. Emily Rogers, a game vlogger known for Nintendo rumors and leaks, has reported that Nintendo's next console, codenamed the NX, won't use x86 architecture and will have the raw power closer to an Xbox One than the PlayStation 4. Nintendo skipping out on x86 could be a very big deal if true. x86 architecture is a popular choice amongst console manufacturers right now, powering both the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One, making ports between the two and PC much easier. If Nintendo is foregoing x86 architecture, it will make porting games from its competitors more difficult. But that might not matter if the NX turns out to be a radically different system anyway. Nintendo would most likely use the ARM architecture instead, which has typically been used with mobile games. Rogers wrote, quote, In terms of raw power, numerous sources have told me that the NX is much closer to the Xbox One than the PlayStation 4, end quote. This would align with Nintendo's strategies for its previous two consoles, the Wii and the Wii U, which both opted to bow out of the graphical arms race by aiming toward previous generation specs. Rogers claims to have spoken with seven inside sources in the past week to confirm her information, but of course she's been wrong before, so take these rumors with a grain of salt. Uh, this actually sounds like, for me, you know how you follow your gut. My gut tells me this is actually true. This makes a lot of sense because this is what Nintendo does. I hate it. I really do. I hate to even say that because it's like, why? Why would you do that when you see that this is going to really affect your, your uh, third party? This is going to really affect ports. You know, if developers have to go through, you know, hell on earth and jump it through all kind of hoops to port their games from the PS4 or the Xbox One to your console, it's going to make develop it's going to make your console look less desirable. Now, if it has the the natural raw power of the Xbox One and it's not using x86 architecture, I'm really interested in seeing what that's going to be like. But Nintendo, it's like no matter what, it's it frustrates me, guys, okay? Because Nintendo has all the opportunities they have the ability of time. It's like they, have, they can time travel. They see what the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One are. They've seen for two years what these consoles were. So now here we are in the third year since these consoles have been released and they are actually considering making something that's less powerful. You had the ability of time travel. You already saw what the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 could do two years ago. Why are you not making something more powerful than that? That technology is dated. That technology is old. Why would you bring something out that's in the same ballpark as the Xbox One? Why? Why would you even consider not using x86? Why would you even consider it when you know you already have these issues with third-party developers? You know why? Because you're Nintendo, and that's just what Nintendo does. Nintendo does what everybody else doesn't. <laughs> To be quite honest, it's frustrating as hell because they want to ride on the coat feathers of Mario and Zelda and Metroid and Star Fox and Donkey Kong when they could actually ride the tail feathers of some of these third party titles. They could ride the tail feathers of Multiplats. They could do all this stuff and they could do it better than everybody else because they come out after everyone else. Why would you come out after your competition and always be less? It just it blows my mind. Like I said, guys, this is a rumor. Let's take it with a grain of salt. But for me, I follow my gut. It sounds like it's actually true. Now, we're getting all kinds of crazy rumors, man. And I really don't know what to think. You know, is it cartridge-based? Are they not using x86? Does it come with a fucking banana? I don't know what Nintendo's doing. But I'm, I'm, I'm kind of concerned. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you think that Nintendo is going to be as powerful as the current gen consoles? Do you think they're going to take a few steps back like they did with the Wii and the Wii U or do you think they're going to go forward and be the most powerful console be sure to let me know in the comments below if you guys enjoyed the video give a thumbs up and show support for the channel follow me on Facebook follow me on Twitter and if you're new to the channel subscribe now I'm the Beastly Gamer and I'll see you guys next time Take off.